Hi guys, I'm Shmi and today I'm back at Mountune for my second upgrade to the Mark III Ford Focus RS. I brought it out here before to install the FPM 375 package, so the Ford Performance by Mountune with 375 horsepower up from the standard 350. That also took torque from 370 newton meters to 410 and in doing so the little power bump means 0 to 62 comes down from 4.7 to 4.5 seconds and I'm having an awful lot of fun driving driving around with it because you get so much more intake noise coming through from the front while you're driving and basically it's a little bit more power out of something that was already fun and the beautiful thing is that because Ford Performance and Mountune work so closely together this package is still covered by warranty that's why I brought it here and that's why we're back here today for the axle back exhaust system that we're going to be installing again it's covered by warranty through Ford so there's nothing to worry about on that front which means for me in the early stages of modifications to the car I don't have too much to to stress about. So I'm going to show you a bit of the install process, the parts before they go on, everything that's being done inside before we take it out and get to hear how it sounds with a little bit of a before and after. And while I'm here, I've also been driving in this, the MR265 Fiesta ST. A Fiesta ST with 265 horsepower and it's been awesome fun. So check that out, the previous upload on the Shmi 150 YouTube channel. But I think for now, we're going to take the car inside, get started, have a look at what's going on. Firstly, please excuse quite how dirty the car is. It is my daily driver and it's particularly grimy on the roads at the moment, but I wanted to show you the brochure so that you can see exactly what we're going to be installing. Um, the axle back stainless seal exhaust system weighs 11.8 kilos, 3.4 lighter than the standard 15.2 kilos of the regular system. And it's basically got the same sort of valve control through the different driving modes that you can choose here. So normal and sport, um, which means that in normal, it's going to be quiet and completely regular. And in sport, it's not going to be crazy loud. It's just going to be a little bit more than stock with some slightly more natural pops, bangs and cracks to it. It's the same exhaust system as the M380 package that I drove on the Focus RS when I was out here before. When Mountune take a Focus RS and go a little bit further with it than what's covered by warranty here and what has the Ford Performance Mountain badge that clearly needs a pretty good clean. So let's get the car inside. In she goes for the second time then in the workshop here at Mountain. It's time for the exhaust to be installed. With the car in situ it would be wrong not to show you straight away the new exhaust system. So this is the Mountune axle back system, 11.8 kilos of stainless steel, and it always looks so good when it's clean and tidy like this. Brand new, nicely packaged, with the adapter as well to connect it all in. But that's gonna make its way into my car. Up in the air then. You can have a quick look underneath, I guess, at the system that's coming off. Let me go around the outside, quickly show you. Looking a little bit dirty and used. The car's done about 7,100 miles up to this point, so that's gonna be coming out. Um, the new system going in there. Now you may be wondering how do you actually remove the old exhaust because on this car it is connected all the way through one piece and the way you do this basically is cutting here and that might be scary initially to lots of people but it's actually a Ford service thing to do on the Focus RS because obviously exhausts are consumable parts even if you wanted to change it eventually at a dealer well when it's worn out you'd have to do this so there's an exact sort of measuring mark to do it on um, on the exhaust system and that will then get cut enabling us to lift this off without having to disassemble the entire sort of rear part of the car which would ruin the calibration and setup and absolutely everything so you never want to really do that if you don't need to so you can cut this off and then just change the uh, the back end of the exhaust system and out comes the old system looking dirty and pretty horrendous but that's now off so we've got a nice hollowed out space back here, ready and waiting for the new one to go in. That was actually surprisingly easy. It's just held in by a couple of mounting points and straight out, way too simple. And then this is where we have this adapter piece. Um, oh, sorry, just, just missing it there. That's gonna go on. And um, the new system will connect into that. And straight after, in we go with the new one. Easy. Lines up with the adapter, positioned in place, that gets tightened up then. Surprisingly easy to do, well I say easy, I'm not the one doing it, but at least looking at it. And back down again then, literally just like 10-15 minutes and we've got a new exhaust system on the car and ready to be started for the first time, so this should be quite fun. 
Looking forward to hearing it. Time for the first start then. Oh goodness, that is raspier. This is good. So it's not silly loud idle at all. It's just got a really nice little rasp to it. God, what a burble. Out of the Focus RS. And the old system is just here. I'm gonna keep that, but uh, oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Nice. Here we go then. Time to jump in and give it a tiny little blip. We're in sport mode, but this is my Focus RS, my first blip in it with the new axle back exhaust system. Oh yes, that is nice. Admittedly, I'm parked right outside under an echoey uh, little area, but wow. Okay then, not bad at all. I am very, very pleased about this, the noise of this little car. One of the coolest things is the cracks and pops are a little bit irregular. It's not the same sort of noise every single time. So I'm gonna move this car right now and then do my little before and after comparison. To do the comparison tests, I'm gonna break this down into a couple of different sections because we wanna hear what the normal exhaust sounds like, the stock system, and then the Mountune axle back, as well, of course, as the different driving modes. So where I want to start is going back to some clips I shot earlier with the stock exhaust system, but with the FPM 375 package, of course, because it was already installed, but the stock system in normal mode. So that is what it's like when you jump straight in the car and give it a couple of blips. then the sound of the raspy standard exhaust. You'll have noticed though that right at the top end of the rev range you got some pops and crackles. Those were introduced by the FPM 375 package because the completely standard stock car in normal mode doesn't allow any of the crackles to come through. This time though let's pop it in sport. Again a clip from earlier. Sport mode, standard exhaust and you'll hear a few more of them. Crackles on demand then. It happens at about 4,000 RPM. It's very, very predictable, very repetitive. Every time you'll get exactly the same kind of artificial noise. Now I love it, don't get me wrong, but it does feel very computerized. I think now though, it's time to move over to the new system, the axle back Mountune exhaust. We'll start in normal mode and see how this sounds. been taken by surprise with that. I wasn't expecting so many crackles in normal, so it feels a little bit quieter than it did just before when I actually had it in sport mode, before I was doing all of this, but with some crackles when you get quite high up the revs. I think though, it's time to put this into sport mode, the full mode of the new exhaust system. So the axle back from Mountune and sport mode, let's hear it. I'd say I'm quite happy with that. It's a lot louder than I perhaps expected it was going to be, but I feel like driving it gently, it won't be too obtrusive, which is basically what I wanted. Bit more noise, bit more play out of it. Obviously we've done the performance modifications. Now we've got some extra sound too. I'm gonna to take the car though for a little drive out on the roads and feel what it's like when you put it under some actual load rather than just revving static. Let us try a little drive then in each drive mode. Obviously let's start in normal. Doesn't feel too intrusive just pulling away. I can tell there's a little bit more idle noise though. 
Um, those sort of early parts of the revs just have slightly more tone to them than they did before. But let's just accelerate up to the speed limit now. Okay, see, it's not that loud doing this. That's not, I mean, it's noticeably louder than the standard system, but that doesn't seem, it's not popping and banging and cracking like crazy. That's been driving fairly briskly there. Um, blips and shifts down. So normal mode, I felt like it was sort of ready to uh, pop and crackle a little bit, and as we know from the standing revs, it certainly was doing. But let's put it into sport mode, which is where all the fun happens. Okay, obviously in sport mode here, it, respond, it tightens the throttle response. Everything just becomes even better than the car already is. Okay, that's what we're talking about there. I like that. Oh yes, and it is a different sound. Each one is different. It's not the sort of exact same repetitive blah, blah, blah. blah. Okay, see there, for example, we only got the one little pop. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, we've got a little tunnel. No down, obviously. Ooh, nice. It's like it pops and crackles more when you just sort of rev it rather than when you're actually driving it. But let's try this in here. <laughs> Utterly brilliant. Oh, goodness. Oh, 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 that sounds good. So it's a little bit louder. Noticing more with the window down, of course, I can hear the noises going on behind. Oh, that is brilliant. The cracks are so loud. This is definitely not a car to be driven in RBKC, the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea in London right now. Backfiring would get you in a lot of trouble. Um, that's half the fun, isn't it? I have this car to be a little bit rebellious to enjoy. Um, and that's why we're playing around with it now, doing this stuff at Mount Tune. And so far, I am very, very happy with this, but I want to keep driving. Um, get a little bit more sound of, out of it and enjoy it a tiny bit more away from this building site. Um, I'm going to go back through that same tunnel, obviously, because why not? Um, just to hear the sound of the car. Okay, right. Let's... Okay, we can accelerate through it. <laughs> Brilliant! Brilliant! Okay, I think I'm in for many, many happy miles driving this on some brilliant roads now. Uh, well, I already was, Focus RS is brilliant, but now it's even better, which is exactly how we want it. The crackles. I, I like how they're not so predictable. I haven't yet worked out, well, hopefully I never will work out what exactly they're doing this time around with this system. But it's good. It's really, really, really good. And I still have the warranty as well, so let's head back to Mount Tune. <laughs> oh, I feel so antisocial. <laughs> oh well, we're on an industrial estate and the cement vans next to us are making vastly more noise, as you can probably hear. Let me just put it back under that tunnel bridge again where we had it earlier because it sounded so good there. I feel uh, sorry for anybody inside. <laughs> that is so good. Okay, enough play. <laughs> okay then, so I've parked the car back up. We've actually put the original exhaust system away in the uh, boot. Really dirty hands, I fit in quite easily. Um, obviously it's not the hugest thing in the world and you can fold the seats down. And actually I did a video recently where I put my tires in the boot and somebody pointed out, well, I did know I had just forgotten that you can fold the base of the seats forward and then put down the backrest and that means it goes flatter and you can fit a lot more stuff in, which makes like, much easier, but that's part of why this car is such a brilliant thing to use every day for every purpose. All-wheel drive, plenty of power and fun with the manual gearbox, decent luggage capacity, five seats, ticks every box, and now it's a little bit more fun too with the Mountune exhaust system. So that's been basically the second round of modification. It's an FPM 375 with the axle back exhaust system. Now I've got to decide what I do next. Do I do some more graphics? Do I change it beyond just having the matte black roof and the RS vinyls on the rear end plates? Do I do something that could be a complete color wrap? Do I something that do that something that's a bit partial so that it's still blue? Do I go and change something else, modify it? Do I go the full works and do the M380 package? Sorry, the noise is coming from everywhere right now. Um, who knows? Lots to be decided in future, but I do really, really like the car. Now that it's got the Mantune, 
package and the exhaust, it is even better. So thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the sound of the new exhaust system. That's it for now though, I'll catch up with you again soon. Cheers!